let's start our discussion of the wealth dimension with a very simple question. Have you ever thought about how much money will you earn in total in your life? I'm not asking about how much money you will save in your life. I'm only asking about how much money you will earn in your life. If you were to estimate how much money you will earn in your life, how would you do it? What would be the method you would use to make this estimation? Take a minute to think about this question. I'm not interested in the exact number that you come up with. I'm more interested in the method that you would use to make this estimation. So think of all possible methods that you can use to make this estimation. You may pause the video here while you think of all possible methods. In my MBA class, the first answer that I usually get is along the lines of assuming your starting salary, then assuming a rate at which your salary would grow every year and adding everything up for 30 or 35 years. Some students add a variation where they assume that they will also invest their salary in either debt or equity and earn a rate of return as well over these 30 or 35 years. But what are the methods that you thought of? Are they similar in principle to the salary method? Or are your methods fundamentally different? The methods that you can think of reveal your philosophy of wealth. In the salary method, if you were to plot your salary against time on a graph, your lifetime earnings would be equal to the area under this growing salary curve. If you are mathematically inclined, this formula would calculate your lifetime earnings and it takes into account salary growth as well as an investment return that you would make by investing your money. If this was the primary method you came up with for yourself, you should know that you believe that your wealth is finite. You believe that the total amount of money that you will earn in your lifetime is a finite quantity. And if this is the belief system that you prescribe to, then you will consciously and subconsciously make life decisions that will reflect the fact that your lifetime earnings are a finite quantity. I call this philosophy the finite wealth philosophy. Almost 90% of my MBA students usually self-identify as having the finite wealth philosophy and think of their wealth as the area under the salary curve. Did you think of a fundamentally different method to calculate your lifetime earnings? If you did not, can you now pause the video and think of a fundamentally different method? If you still haven't thought of a fundamentally different method, can you picture in your mind how a salesperson, a real estate broker, or a freelancer might answer this question? How would a salesperson think about their lifetime earnings? For a salesperson, their lifetime earnings are directly dependent on the amount of hustle that they put in. If they have more meetings and sell more products, they make more money. So their wealth still has an upper bound, but this upper bound is time. Their lifetime earnings directly depend on the time that they put into selling. I call this the hustle philosophy of wealth. Many of my students believe that entrepreneurship is aligned with the hustle philosophy of wealth. This is wrong. Entrepreneurship, in fact, aligns with the third philosophy of wealth. In this philosophy, your lifetime earnings are a portion of the value you create for others. The wealth you can create for yourself is a portion of the total value you create for society. In this philosophy, there is no upper bound on your lifetime earnings because there is no upper bound on the amount of value you can create for others. Saying it another way, to create disproportionate wealth for yourself, you must create disproportionate value for society. I call this the social value philosophy of wealth. And this is the philosophy of wealth for entrepreneurship. In the next video, let's dig deeper into social impact. Hey there, I'm KJ Saxena, founder of Relentless VC. The video you just watched is part of the Venture Capital and Entrepreneurship Specialization, which is available absolutely for free on relentless.ventures. Go check it out. If you're a tech startup founder and want to raise money from us, you should apply on our website. 
Lastly, if you like this video, do subscribe and share it with your friends.